Beamform X6 was released today. This is an overview of some of its new features. The Air Props dialog has been removed and replaced with a trigger dialog that has parameters related to triggering. The temperature from the Air Props dialog was moved here to the um, settings dialog. There's also a, a new checkbox for show band on spectrum. That's this band. If we change the frequency, the, the um, lines move to indicate what um, band is being processed. So I'll set it back to 10 kilohertz to show the noise from the fan. So fan noise is sort of um, repetitive after a while. So to investigate something else, let's look at, at um, hourglass noise. To, to switch from the fan noise to the hourglass noise, we can use another new feature, which is load bin data. If we click on this button, it brings up a dialog for the new um, file that we want to load, which is here. And it loads a new file. So this is an hourglass being turned over. We'll let the sand start to pour out for a little while. And then pause it. And that was, I changed the frequency when I paused it. So let's set the frequency back to 10 kilohertz. So the, um, I was able to load a new, a new um, data file without exiting the program. Now we see that at 10 kilohertz, there's a powerful noise coming from the bottom of the hourglass where the sand is hitting the glass. Uh, the first time I did this with a, with a partially full um, bottom, the sand in the sand didn't make enough noise to hear it outside the glass, but with an empty hourglass glass, it does make a certain make a fair amount of noise. To measure the spectrum, let's um, go into partitions ROI mode, create an ROI showing the um, the noise of interest, and add that to our partitions list, and we'll um, use names as labels, and we'll call this the um, sand ROI. Let's also make some background ROIs. So we can put one say here. So that would be left, right, and I don't know, upper right. So this is left, right, and upper right. Okay, so to make spectra from those areas, we click on frequency sweep. And to run quickly, let's, I don't know, let's do a um, third octave band spectrum and go from one kilohertz to 20 kilohertz with a decay time of 0.5 seconds. And go for it. Now, while this is running, I should mention that the integration technique has changed to adaptive projection beamforming. Uh, which is my newest uh, integration technique. It's similar to function, functional projection beamforming, except it high, has higher resolution. Now, as I often do, I forgot to, to choose partition mode. So I'm going to close this, choose partition mode, and repeat the frequency suite with the same parameters. So now we'll get separate results, separate spectra for the four ROIs that were created. You can see the results as they're coming out. So here are the spectra. Now to see it better, we'll go from uh, 1,000 hertz to 25 kilohertz and maybe minus 40 dB to plus 40. So we do that here. Thousand twenty four thousand one 
times 40 to 40. So what we see is over this range centered at 10 kilohertz, the sand um, ROI is clearly louder than the others. And the other bands, the other bands are clustered together. Um, so probably the, the sand uh, ROI wasn't making enough noise to be heard above the ambient noise. Um, we can see that the ambient noise in the, in the 10 kilohertz one-third octave band was minus 20 dB, so this is pretty significant. Um, 